So the title for the course is Electromagnetics. The class time today, uh, every Monday, from 10, 10 to 12, and then you can enjoy your lunch. And Wednesday from 9, right? And location is here. So my name is Chen Bing Huang, or you can just call me Robin. So this is my email address. You can write me emails. I will reply to you. That's for for sure. So that's my office number, eight fifty nine. My extension number. So you're free. You're free to arrange an office hour with me. So you can ask questions, or you can also ask questions to the teaching assistants. As I introduced, we have three. They are extremely highly qualified teammates. Okay. I'm only leaving one email address, the head TA, Ms. Wu, you can call her Pearl, so this is her email, and their office is in ECS, 311 and 312, now one of their extension number, only for precaution, alright, so uh, we might have makeup make classes, which is unlikely, because due to the coronavirus, I'm not really traveling a lot, so we have plenty of time for real classes. And I'm thinking we don't have any quiz anymore, because whenever you have quiz, you have to come. And I'm trying to avoid having students coming to the classroom, all right? So I will try to negotiate and argue some new scoring method to you later. But, if anything's necessary, you can also arrange online discussions with me or with the TA. Okay? So, as the name implies, electromagnetics, this is one of the core cores for WE department. Core course means extremely important and usually difficult. Okay? Uh, in my recollection, Probably, if you do a survey, you do an interview with WE graduates, they will tell you the most difficult course, mandatory course, would be electromagnetics. So my job is to make this difficult course enjoyable, if possible, and understandable. Okay? But that actually requires your devotion as well. So you can read this paragraph on your own. So we are going to explain physics, physical phenomena using mathematical equations. But usually double E majors, we don't really like math, right? So that's why we end up here in engineering. But still, you cannot avoid mathematical equations. So my job is to help you to understand what's underlying behind the mathematical equations. So my main point is not in the derivation of the equations, but helping you to see what's being told. The course is very important. So later on, we have corresponding courses, electromagnetic waves, which is selective course, Introduction to Optical Engineering, also Selective, Photonics, High Frequency Circuit Design, and Solid State Devices. Okay, so this is an extremely important class. So, please read the text in red by yourselves. Okay, this course do you want to re repeat after me? <laughs> this course requires your total devotion. This course requires your total devotion. Okay, can anyone translate into Chinese? So we can be certain everybody here understands. TA, your English level is the best. Do you want to help us do the translation? What does devotion mean? <laughs> Okay, 
and then you can you can pass. Okay. So preview, preview, and review. So these are two main philosophies taught by your elementary school teachers, starting from six years old. But you never, you've never done it. Preview, 预习 Review, 复习 So only two actions, and that would guarantee you passing this course. Okay. Essential in keeping up. Preview and review so you can keep up with the pace, so you won't lag behind. Whatever you lag behind, you can never catch up, and then you probably have a difficult time in this course. Okay. Another main point: if you like this class, which is great, enjoy it. If you don't like this class. And then you definitely have to pass in one time. You don't want to enjoy the second time. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's my philosophy. So the textbook is unified. I think all the classes are having the same textbook by D K Chen, which is an old book. I was using it when I was、uh, an undergraduate student here. Okay. But it's a very essential one. It's almost like Bible.、Okay. We will be having one reference text for transmission line only. So this is provided for you free. Okay, it's already on LMS. So that chapter is our starting point. Okay, for transmission line, and all the course materials will be made available to you before the class. Okay, on LMS. So even though the lectures. I will be talking in English, but I do understand Chinese, so you are free to ask questions or answer my questions in Chinese or English. But because we're doing live streaming, and I don't really want to see you starting from Wednesday, <laughs> so I have to find a way that、um, is it possible for students to ask questions through the live streaming? Is it possible? Okay, so it is possible. So you can answer my questions, and you can also ask questions. Okay, you can ask them in English or Chinese. I understand both, so that's no problem. All right, course content. Um, unlike other teachers, I prefer to arrange the course contents by teaching transmission line first. If you read. The textbook transmission line is somewhere positioned here. Okay, so the reason will be clear as I introduce the course content. Okay, but I prefer to do it this way. It's actually easier for you, right? And then I'll cover vector analysis. You've all taken vector analysis, and I assume. You all passed in order to sit here. Otherwise, you cannot take this course. But usually, when we think about vectors, we just hate it, right? All you remember is, I don't understand anything. I just hate it. That's all you know. Okay. So my job again is to make you appreciate what vector analysis can do and can help you. To understand magnificent things, and then we'll talk about steady-state electric fields and currents. All right. So we start with electric fields, and then we make progress into magnetic fields. 电电场磁场 Okay. And then we'll have a combination of electric field. A magnetic field, so we can have electromagnetic waves. All right. So all these three: green magnetic field, Maxwell's equations for time-varying waves, require your thorough understanding of vector analysis. So the reason is very apparent. 
I want to teach you transmission line in the very first place because here you don't need vector analysis, which is difficult. You only need to treat scalar fields in transmission lines. All right? Okay, grading policy. This is new. In view of the coronavirus, I want to reduce the number of you coming into the classroom. So, you can count, not including today. You only need to count three times, only for examinations, okay? I removed the quizzes, so I redistributed the scoring, weighting. So now homeworks is now having 30% of the weight. First examination, 20%. Second and final, 25%. So that adds up to 100%. The reason why I'm having a lower weighting for the first examination is you don't know me that well, right? So for the first time, you don't really know how I come up with my questions. So this is meant for you to fail, okay? So once you know me better, you can score more, right? You do well, you score more. So if you want to reduce this one to 15%, that's also fine. But somehow that ex external 5% has to go somewhere, okay? Homework or final, I don't really care, okay? So do you have any inputs? Do you want to maintain the first examination to 15%? Or do you want to make, make it 20%? If this is 15, uh, two possible options. One is to raise homework to 35%. Another one is to make final 30%. Or you can just accept it. So as a professor in Taiwan, usually you know the trick. You get your answer by asking the right question. So in the future, in my classroom, even though through the live streaming, do ask questions and do try to answer questions. Um, by asking your own question, that's the most straightforward way to learn. Otherwise, you might be hearing a lot of things I want to teach, but not the thing you want to learn. Makes sense, right? So throughout the semester, you will hear a lot of words of wisdom from me. Okay? I'm very straightforward and very open-minded. Okay? One more concern. Um, homework problems would be difficult. So my philosophy is for homeworks, you have plenty of time to work on it. So the difficulty level will be high. So once you receive the homework problems, my recommendation is you start working on them immediately. Don't work on them until one day before you have to turn it in. And then you have to copy from somebody else. But then you, you might copy the virus, right? So that's dangerous, okay? So ethics policy. For this policy, I want to announce it in Chinese so there is no room for error. Okay? Integrity. Because 那我也是一个很用心教学的老师，所以我希望大家可以本着诚实。OK，所以你们应该要学习，或者我们用应该要学习的是，去拿到我们该拿的，包含成绩。你今天没有用功，那是你的选择，你就拿不好的成绩。你
好，所以这什么意思呢 ？Plagiarism 抄袭，在我的课是绝对不不被容许的。OK， 如果是 homework 的话，抓到你抄袭，那你就是拿负一百分，好，负一百分。但是呢，同时间我也意会到，我们存在的世代里面，其实是要很多的 teamworks， 尤其你们未来毕业去公司工作，是鼓励 teamworks。所以，如果你是跟某一个人一起讨论出来，因为我出的题目太难了 ，fine， 你就诚实的写这一份作业或哪一题是跟谁讨论的，我不会扣你的分，但是我要你们诚实 ，OK？ 在国立清华大学，竟然还有个老师会坚持这种原则，不简单吧？好，这你们很很荣幸。如果在考试的时候有作弊的，有任何舞弊的行为，直接当掉，好，没有第二句话。我也不在乎你们给我什么上课的评价，只要有考试舞弊，直接挡掉，没有第二句话 ，OK？ 所以诚实是真正我们士大夫的本 ，OK？ 你们可能从来都没想过我们在古代是士大夫啊 ，OK？ 第四点，我每次讲完这个，你们都好凝重啊。第四点哈，呃，只有这么一次，整个学期就只有这么一次是这么你沉重的哈。那我故意要你们很沉重，来这边上课，你们都是很努力、很努力，然后赢过全国前百分之二点五以内才能进来这边的。来这边不是玩社团的哈，尤其美足赛正好停赛 ，You don't have any excuse， 你也不想出去得病毒，对不对？在家好好念电磁学。Total devotion.